Welcome back, everybody. I'm Rich here with Rob, Don, Kate, and we are the Animates. Uh... <gasps> So last time on To Your Eternity, uh, we opened up with a, your typical slice of life, kind of how uh, every few arcs goes with this one, uh, where we're just kind of following Gugu around, following Fushi around, figuring out what's going on. Uh, Rina comes around and is like, guess what guys, I'm, I'm coming of age. I'm basically, I'm having a 16 year party and I want you guys to come because I love you guys. Thanks for coming. Um, but she also like subtly drops in there that it's also like, I'm getting engaged. Like, please save me from this 16th birthday party. I don't really want to do this. Uh, so uh, we go on through that and uh, Gugu, uh, his brother shows back up out of freaking nowhere and is like, you know what? I got my life back on track and I want to thank you. And uh, I just want to give this back to you and let you know how much I want to be a part of your life again. And Gugu's like, uh, no thanks. Uh, like I figured out what I needed to do with life and you aren't a part of it and peace. No, I don't want anything to do with this. I don't want to try to reconcile. No, ain't happening. Uh, so of course the brother is like, but you saved me when I was a bum on the side of the road, at least take back this ring that you gave me, you know, like I have the money to give it back. And then like Rena sees this happen and she's like, that's the ring that I gave the little guy when he had a face. She she kind of puts together that Gugu was this kid that she helped when they were much younger and she played with them when they were much younger and uh, kind of things start to jog her memory about what's, what's going on. Uh, so Fushi and Party and everybody uh, <clears throat> reconcile, come back to Boo's Man's place and Boo's Man has a new helmet for Gugu and he has made a flint uh, helmet that when you clap together the, the hood like an old-timey like uh, knight in shiny armor it's a flint that will create fire from his belly so it's ha fra which is really cool so he doesn't have to like keep a flame with him constantly or worry about that stuff he has the ability to be a good shield and defense <laughs> right there uh so that's awesome we get a new hat i mean of course rena's been working on this stupid crab one that she's been sewing but it's I mean, it's not a flint helmet, that's for sure. Uh, okay. So we go on from that and uh, we're going to Rena's Sweet 16 party and Gugu brings like all his vegetables because it's like, this is what I got to give, what do you got to give? And uh, Gugu's like, crap, uh, we're gonna go to the flower market because I'm gonna get some flowers. And so he picks out this really pretty little purple flower. He's like, this one, I don't know why this one, but I like this one. So he picks this flower, they go to the Sweet 16 party and Rena, it's every, of course she's, she's part royalty or whatever you want to call it back in these times. She's definitely like, mm. uh, so this party is very, mm -mm. and so everybody's like, oh my God, I can't believe you brought this flower. Oh, that's when Reno got like that terrible accident where she almost died from a scratch on her arm that caused it to fall off and die or something, whatever. Uh, so, uh, of course, like we had no way of knowing that, but so Rena asks Gugu, like, why'd you pick this flower? And he's like, it just reminded me of you because it's pretty and unique and all this stuff. And he's, she's like, that's so thoughtful because I mean, of course, everybody is so scared to bring this stuff around her because they don't want to trigger a bad memory that she doesn't get to see these type of flowers and stuff like that. So she was super excited about that. She spends most of her sweet 16 kind of coddling the poor people at the party kind of like it's okay that you fell in the fountain you're here as my guest <laughs> eventually like goo goo and friends get kind of kicked out so goo goo is hanging out on the balcony like i don't want to be around these people they're totally bumming me out so he goes out to the balcony and rena comes out there and they start talking about like that accident again and and Rena's like, why didn't you ever tell me that you were the kid? Like, why didn't, I mean, come on. And Gugu kind of sarcastically is like, well, I mean, you were so distraught over your arm being like, Rrr, that I didn't want to bring that up. And she's kind of like, your face got squashed. Of course, like this pales in comparison, but he being very sensitive is like, it still meant a lot to you. And I didn't want to rain on your parade just because your trauma physically wasn't as much as mine didn't mean it didn't mean as much. 
you know? And so they're like bonding, like, mm, I want to marry this dude, even though like we met Rena's husband and he's total sweetheart, which makes it totally hard because he's a total nice guy. He should be like a villain. So we're like, yeah, break up with him so you can be with Gugu, but he's a good guy. And so she has to choose between poor soldier and like nice diplomat crap, you know, this sucks. Uh, but as of course Serena is on the balcony having this moment with our precious Goo Goo, like the freaking Fockers come out of nowhere. And they're called the Knockers, but I'm calling them the Fockers. They're motherfuckers. <laughs> and like break the balcony, like a total cliff fall and like leave us there on a literal cliffhanger as Rich pointed out we missed last week, a total pun. But it is literally a cliffhanger because it's falling and like, what are we gonna do? And so, what are we gonna do, guys? We're gonna find out, that's for sure. I can't believe, what can you believe? we didn't make any jokes about it ending on a literal cliffhanger. I know, dude, it uh, really felt like a missed opportunity. Well, I feel like we're, we're failing the fans with that level of execution. It was execution. shocking. The whole episode, we were calmed, and then they they literally pulled the cliff out from under us. Literally. It was, honestly, I wasn't expecting that. No. It was like, it had like a whole different kind I of vibe. I should have been. I should have been. Because they always yeah. do this crap. They're like, mm -hmm. oh, everything's happy. Nobody's dying. And then people die. Yep. <laughs> yeah, especially with this show. It's nice and calm and like, bam, they're not, nope, somebody's finally dying. Yep. Yeah. So uh, I guess it's on par, but still, cliffhanger. Ah, yeah. It's about time. We've been watching this weird love story, like child growth for a while. Yeah. It, it's been, it's, it's time to move this yeah. forward. Yeah, yeah. yeah and he's probably not dead, let's be honest, because no, it so. would seem weird at this point to have him live through the time jump only to die. <laughs> oh, the man. Next the disrespect. The it next would be yeah. so funny, though, with his new helmet if he, like, accidentally claps and, like, burns her face off or something because oh, he doesn't goodness. have control of the new helmet and they yeah. fell. Like, ah! <laughs> That's good. I hope not. Be <laughs> Gore. But you know what? Only one way to find out if that happens or not. Yeah. Let's get that. on into it. All right, guys. We're here with episode 12, Awakening. He looks so shocked. And this is his knocker sense. Like, he, he, he Yeah, feels he's got a spidey sense. No, dude, the world's actually shaking. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a world shaking. A sailor scout is here. That's what's happening. What a god. Oh, oh Pepper is so really fucking cute. John Wick approves. <laughs> I am a bear. Whoa, that's a cool way to see him using his powers. That was actually really dumb. Giant bear yeah. talk. That's the first time I think we've heard the bear talk, uh -huh. right? Yeah. That was really dope. They're still going to they're gonna blame the Dilly Clock. Dang the straight. Dilly. Holy yeah. crap. Yeah, that dog's keep the dog calm, life, okay? You got to feed it so it doesn't get distracted and panic. Start biting people. Goo Goo going to get his blessing now. Sorry, nice husband to be. You may have been rich, but your house almost killed us. So we're gonna go with Gugu who saved us. Maybe I think that's Reed's house, though. Y yeah. Shh. <laughs> what? Say it. Don't say it now. Say no. It. Then say it. Say it. Die. Say it. Good job, Gugu. Right. You can't marry Dilly. If he did die, you have to be a then hero. Then Gucci like can evolve into him. Because he'd definitely be Fushi. an upgrade. He's an actually firebender. And Fushi can make like unlimited alcohol. Be a rock. Be a rock. Very. Be a rock. Can't hurt a rock if you a rock. Fushi! That was his first transformation in like four years, I think they said, right? Oh, he's little again. He lost his stubble. He's back to Donald levels. I'm sorry, Donald. <laughs> the attack! The intent, this is uncalled for. I, I demand a revote. Is that a rock version of the thing? Yeah, it is. Yeah, the, remember the knockers are like elementals, dude. Oh no, okay, good. But you can't fight Fire it, it's, it's rock. You need something to beat up rock. You need a big hammer. I mean, that was really the problem. Like, oh no. Oh shit. Oh. Oh! 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 That was awesome! Wow! That's how you get blood from a stone. <laughs> oh no, bear's like. Goo goo! Oh shit! I think she made it too. She's okay. 
Oh my god, that child's head! Yeah, wow, that was cool. I was, I was still, dude, I, I am blown away. Yeah, that was awesome. That was so brutal. That was so visual. Squash like a grape. Oh, juice. Just seeing the neck turn like that, I was blown away. Nice. I have not seen something like that in anime in a long time. It's like terraformers. Yeah, that was that level of brutality. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This show surprises me. Like, moments like that really surprised me because, like, half a second ago, it's like, it's serious and it's like kind of comical. And then it's just like brutal. Then it's just like, oh, everything's just back to normal. Mm -hmm. Like, that didn't just happen. They go to try to pick the flowers, and he has like a Ricky Bobby level breakdown. He's just running. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm on fire. Not a, not a good time for that. Oh God! Oh, oh my God! Dylan might get it. <gasps> oh, oh my God! <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, this is. I am in love with an esophagus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop. She's gonna Please kiss go. it. She's gonna Please. kiss it. She's gonna kiss it. Oh. Is she drunk now? <laughs> oh, God, I am. Oh, my goodness. This is the first time he's like you really only feeling used something. I've five times, okay? And it doesn't have 100% accuracy. <laughs> <laughs> What is it, like 70%? Like, it misses every time for me, so what the fuck? Dude, he has PP he has, up. He's using body slam. He has PP up and he, he misses accuracy up. Accuracy up, for sure, to the max. He will never miss. What? It's not good in water. Oh, uh, since it's like a rock it elemental. Is water. Why well, you got lucky? Or dude. it's because he was so super Kill heated. It. Burn it. Oh, that's true. Because if it's really hot and drops uh, in water, it could explode. Yeah. Can you destroy it? Kill it. Please kill, kill it. it. Don't kill let it. it get into the water. Let it get you. It's a uh, flying testicle. That's what it looked like. You didn't even try. Wow, they really brought him back. They time jumped just to kill him. They, that's ridiculous. Wow, I cannot believe they did that. That honestly pisses me <laughs> off. They put him in like a prime warrior state and was like, you know what? Just to get You're Fushi. now the new Fushi. Yep. It's the lesson Fushi had to learn, guys. That it's Fushi's job to kill these. Yeah. You can train your tools until you're blue in the face, but Fushi's the one that has to kill them. And until he does, he's going to keep hurting the people around him that he loves. Damn. You're right. You're no right. matter how toned uh, up. The god did say that. He was like... Are you he... sure? And he... Yeah, but does that mean we're just going to have the same predictable pattern? Like, he's Probably never going to get close to somebody, otherwise they're going to die. I feel like now that he has, like, the warrior form, he has, like, a real, like, fighting chance. Now. He didn't really have anything before. He had the wolf and the bear, but that's kind of, like, basic animals. With the warrior, he kind of has more versatility. So she does know. Yeah, but that all just seems kind of pointless. What the hell was that? I don't... Well... Alright, well, that happened. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Confused. It was both a cool episode, but very, like, weird episode. I felt like... The there first half was really good. The second moments. half was just weird. Were, yeah. There were some great moments. Yeah, head crushing, awesome. Pretty much that was the best scene <laughs> in the whole episode. Um, that was the best scene in a lot of episodes. Yeah. But I'm just kind of disappointed for Gugu Goo Goo to die, and he's moving on from all these people. So really, it is exactly just what it was, and will probably continue to be for a while still. Yeah, everyone's just fodder for it's Sushi just, so you know, far. Yeah, he's just there to learn a lesson from that person until they can, you know, be added to the Pokedex. Yeah, literally, <laughs> it's like, oh man, you can kill a knocker? Guess what? You will die soon, and I will become you. But we will have some sort of bond, by the way. Yeah, like... I mean, that was different in that aspect. Like, he felt Goo Goo dying beforehand because their soul had already bonded mm -hmm. beforehand. That's true. That is true. Yeah. 
So maybe that'll lend itself to being somehow different instead of having to connect after the death, it connected before the death and it may lend differently. Maybe well, that's why there are weird premonitions happening. Well, he feels all the death. I feel like he feels all the deaths first, right? Yeah. He felt the bear. No. He felt the bear. He felt the, the bear. He felt the girl. He felt the pain. Right. So, he's always so he feels a little the pain. Back, okay. Like. Yeah. He, he feels like the pain like right when they're dying. So the other question I have is, is March, right? Yeah. Mash. 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 March. Mash. Mash. No, it's March. March. I don't know. Because Mash is the <laughs> shielder from fate. No. Yes, Mash is. <laughs> well, I think so it's I March, think, like I the think, month. I think, yeah, I think we're on Mash. We, I think we say Mash because Caitlin said Mash. So I, many think times. March. <laughs> I, I think it's March. I think it's March. I think it's March as well now. March. March. Okay, March. Okay. Caitlin has screwed us all up. No, yeah, Caitlin has like soiled all our minds. We were good. And then she kept saying Mash. And I was like, I guess I'm remembering wrong. God. <laughs> God dang it, Caitlin. I am. This, my, I can't remember it anymore. <laughs> so March, um, so her spirit was showing up with Gugu at the end, but March was taken by a Fokker or whatever, knocker. a knocker. knocker yeah. So they said, cause even the God was like, he has part of your soul. Or maybe they only have a part of it, not the whole thing. I don't know, but that confused me too, because I thought March went with the knocker and yeah, left. Like why so why did we see her maybe with- Maybe it's missing a lot of her memories. But then I was also memories. thinking that maybe, maybe Fushi couldn't see Gugu as a spirit. Like Gugu's talking possible. to him. And maybe so, it's just Gugu thing. because their connection's lost, yeah, but, but Gugu is still connected to March and can lead her there. They just gotta reconnect. I don't know, I have speculations. Well. Well, let us know what you're speculating will happen in the next episode. Mm -hmm. More heads And I speculate that it'd be great if you uh, liked, commented, subscribed, hit the notification Ding button. Ding the bell. Find us on Instagram. Do the things. We'll see you guys next time. All right. Peace. Bye. Later.